Brian, FoxSportsGuy.com here with Rutgers Safety, TJ Johnson. You weren't coming into today thinking you were starting, did you? No. How does that change? Jeremy Duran goes out on the opening kickoff. Um, does anything change for you? No. Same old. I would play, but um, now I'm playing more. And um, let's go out to Jeremy. Hopefully he gets better because we're better when both of us are on the field. So, um, you know, they, I got tapped. I responded, you know, it's time to play football. That's it. That's really it. You know, this is the opportunity I've been waiting for. Um, I, I wasn't hoping for it to be an awful injury for one of my great teammates and for one of my good friends as well. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm just hoping that he's all right and um, we can continue to pick up slack. Defensively, they moved the ball through the passing game. They really didn't get in the end zone except for the one play, which when you go back and watch tape, you guys will think the guy got blocked from behind. But what, what was so effective then to keep them out of the end zone, even though they were able to move it with the pass because what they were doing was little dinky passes um yeah i think they might have completed one that was maybe over 20 and that's going to be the the trick play that they ran um right there we need to either call a timeout or we need to communicate better otherwise you know everything is little dump off passes for little short yardage type of things same thing for Fresno. Um, we just got to rally down to the ball and be more physical um, you need to start creating more takeaways on plays like that. Not necessarily interceptions, but getting the ball out. Two and three people there, we got to strip the ball, we got to get the ball out. Um, you know, they put up 10, that's not what we were looking for. Every game we go on tour looking for a donut, so um, I can play better, everybody can play better, we'll, we'll play better next week. Watching you, I know they went deep a couple times, and a couple times out of it went out of bounds, and I could see your closing speed. You would have thought of that ball. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. On their sideline on one, if it was there. How did you feel, though, as the game wore on? And, and you're playing a lot more plays than maybe usual. Did you feel good as the game went on? Or it was you... wonderful. It was wonderful to be on the field. Um, this is what I've been waiting for. Um, I pictured myself playing corner when this time came, but now I'm playing free safety. And I don't mind. I'm back there. I'm having fun. Um, the game's fun. We work hard all week to get to the game. The game is the fun part. The game is, you know, it's what we've been waiting for. Throughout. Does the defensive mentality change when Nova goes out? I mean, do you know right away he's not in there, or how long does it take you to know? It took me a little while, and then I seen Chase in the center, and I was like, what the hell is going on? But, um, you know, Chase is a good quarterback as well. We, we know the same thing can happen. Chase has played, has come in as a freshman, true freshman, and played great. So, you know, um, on the defense side, no, we have, we have our, you know, we think Chase can do anything that Gary can do as well. They're both great quarterbacks. Chase can go anywhere else and start, actually. So, um, nothing changed for us on defense. Defense, we're always going to continue to play ball. We're always going to continue to, you know, just be physical and run. Are you happy with the way you played defensively as a unit today? Yeah, I'm happy. And I understand um, you can get better, but. Yeah, I'm happy. Um, a few mental mistakes on my part that I knew I did wrong as soon as the play started. But, um, when, when, when you say mental mistakes, are they mental mistakes that maybe a guy got three yards instead of one? Or are they exactly. mental mistakes that good thing they didn't see it or would have been Nah, six? mental mistakes like three yards instead of one. So, um, as far as my assignments, I'm always on that. I'm always sharp with that. Just executing it a little bit better, getting more depth on certain plays. Um, didn't really feel challenged when I was getting depth. It was only one play. Uh, I think they might have stuck something in there, but usually they run a seven route, like a corner route, a little bit deeper. They were cutting it a little short because they knew the safety was over the top, trying to threaten me. They got it on one, and I was over there at least. Um, Zoe had a great pick. And he was um, he was in the post and read the quarterback and got a great dive and interception. So that's what we got to get more of. We got to get more pressure. And then, you know, we had a lot of sacks today. You get more pressure like that, he has to hold on to the ball, try to run it, and then they make, you know, plays that aren't smart. They try to throw to people that aren't open, things like that. Now, you know, when he threw it up there, it was double coverage, so we took advantage of it. Then we got to get more plays like that, continue playing well as a defense. Um, they didn't run the ball at all today. That's another good thing. Once we stopped the run, I think we're 90% winners. So right then and there, I think we did a good job. We'll, we'll cut the plays down, you know, those dinky out routes and small things like that. We'll, we'll rally down to the ball and tackle better. Thanks, TJ. Thank you.